everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. I also do some family vlogging and some other videos that uh, we are doing through the week or just sharing some updates on some of the things that we are enjoying. Go check out some of our other videos. Um, I know a lot of you guys are following along just for the air fryer videos, but uh, we have some other fun stuff out there that we've been doing lately. A lot of um, videos with some of our little animals that we have now and um, just been doing a lot of that stuff lately. So, but don't forget to subscribe too so you guys don't miss out on the air fryer videos if you guys are new. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up too so that lets YouTube know that you guys are interested in uh, the videos that I'm making for you guys. So. Don't forget to do that. Go ahead and do that right now. And let's get started. Um, right now I have everything out. I have our bell peppers ready. I have some, just some little, little ones here that we're gonna be chopping up and adding to the recipe. I have my cheese, black olives. We have some pepperonis and I have my pizza sauce. Um, I'm gonna show you guys right now how I cooked up the hamburger that you are going to be adding to your stuffed peppers. So I'm gonna add that clip right now. All right, so now that you guys watched how I made the hamburger, we're gonna get started with cutting up our bell peppers. So I just picked out, I ha the only thing that was at the store right now were the red and the green. So I went and just bought a little package of these because we can make some little poppers with these. Um, you might not be able to get the meat and stuff in there, but we can just maybe add some cheese and put these along the side. So we're gonna get started with the peppers. So now that I went ahead and cut open our bell peppers, I just cored them out. So you just take all the seeds and everything out. And I also did that with the little ones. So I'm gonna bring the meat mixture over here and then I'm gonna put them in the um, bell peppers and then we'll go over the temp and the things that you need to do to start cooking these. So now that I have the meat sauce inside, I'm gonna start topping these with our toppings. I have mild cheddar, I have mozzarella, I have my sauce, my pepperoni, and my black olives. So I'm going to just put a spoon full of sauce in all of these. So I'm using pizza sauce, but I think you guys could probably use spaghetti sauce too if you guys would like. And for these little ones, I'm just gonna add sauce. I'm not even gonna put the meat inside, but I think that you could maybe get just a little bit of meat inside if you wanna try that. But I'm just gonna put cheese.
All right, so I'm gonna top these with some mild cheddar. Some mozzarella. Do a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna add some pepperonis. And the little ones I'm just gonna let like that. I'm not even gonna um, put any peppers or anything on there. Gonna move them over a little bit so they're out of my way. Okay. What I am going to do though is I am going to spray the inside of my air fryer. I told you guys in one of my other videos that I um, got this in my new air fryer. I didn't get one in my old one, so. Um, a lot of my older videos don't um, show me using this, um, but I've been trying to use this as much as possible. Um, it's just an oil sprayer. A lot of times with some of the things that you cook, you need to spray them down. So I'm just gonna spray the inside of here so they don't stick on there. I'm gonna sneak some of these little ones around here. So, one, two, three, four, five. I was able to get in there. I still have one off to the side, so I will cook, cook that up in a little while. So I'm not going to do a preheat today. We're just going to get it started right away. I'm going to go up to 400 degrees and I am going to start with 10 minutes of cook time. I'm going to check it about five minutes just to see where it is. And then if I need to continue, I'll just continue cooking it for the rest of the five minutes. So I'm going to check on that in a little bit and we'll come back then. So I'm down to five minutes. I'm gonna open it up and just see where we're at. So um, the cheese and everything is starting to melt, but I want it to get a little bit more browned. So I'm gonna cook it for a little bit longer and check it in a couple more minutes. So I let it cook for another three more minutes. And altogether, it was about eight minutes and I got them to where I want them to be. So with your air fryer, make sure you guys are checking them um, so you guys can see where they are as in cooking. Um, all air fryers cook differently, so mine might be hotter or mine might be cooler depending on um, what style air fryer you guys have. So just keep an eye on it. I did wanna cook it for about 10 minutes, but they are done at um, eight minutes, so. That is totally up to you on how long you want to cook them and how yours turn out. So don't forget about that. So if I say like it's eight minutes or 10 minutes, just kind of keep an eye on it because uh, you don't want to burn them. And with using the air fryer um, can be a little touchy with certain things. Another thing is when I do my next batch um, of the pizza stuffed peppers, my air fryer is already warm and they're gonna be cooking up probably a little bit faster. So just keep that in mind when you do double batches that your air fryer is already hot and the cooking time might need to be adjusted. So just keep that, um, keep that in mind. So I'm gonna plate these up here.
Okay, so that is how they turned out and they look pretty good. So I'm excited to try these. Um, if you guys have tried any of the bell peppers in your air fryer or if you guys are just like cooking vegetables in your air fryer, why don't you guys like leave me a recipe down below and I could try that out on one of my next videos. That would be kind of fun to do. So, um, or if you guys have tried other pizza recipes in your air fryer, let me know. I did do a bread one one time. I'll try to link it up above. It's, um, I think I did it with like feta cheese and stuff like that. So check that video out. Otherwise, hopefully you guys like today's video. And like I said in the beginning of the video, don't forget to subscribe because you guys don't want to miss out on any more air fryer videos. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. No, I don't want to say that. Okay, so hopefully you guys liked today's video and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so I will no I don't want to do that either. Alright. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so you guys mm -hmm.